Today's recipe is temple style bisabeli bath prasadam. For this, take 100 grams of pumpkin and 2 capsicums, medium size, chop both of them. Make sure you cut the pumpkin in bigger size. Then take 200 grams of beans, 200 grams of carrot, 2 medium sized onions, chop all of them. Take half cup of oil, 2 teaspoons of poppy seeds, 2 teaspoons of dried coconut that has been grated, 3 teaspoons of bisabelle bath powder, 4 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of ghee, 1 cup of tamarind juice, 1 chakra full and 1 bay leaf, 2 teaspoons of rasam powder, 3 teaspoons of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of jaggery, cooked rice and dal. So I have taken a consistency of 1 cup rice is equal to 3 fourth cup of dal. Then dry roast your poppy seeds in a pan. Once it changes very slight color, remove it from the pan and in the same pan put your dried coconut. When the dried coconut comes to this color, this of the flame, put it in the grinder. Add your dried coconut and poppy seeds. Make it into a coarse paste your paste is ready now take a thick base pan it can be any pan of your choice i have taken the cooker here then add your uh, half cup of oil then add chakra full and bay leaf to this add all your chopped onion so cook it till the onion turns little translucent then add your capsicum, stir occasionally, then add your beans, after your beans, capsicum and onions have been cooked, now add your carrots, stir it. So when all of this is cooked, I am adding my pumpkin. So as I told before, I told you to cut the pumpkin in a little bigger size because it shrinks when it gets cooked and make sure you add your pumpkin at the end. And pumpkin is kind of the secret ingredient for this bisabella bath recipe. So make sure you don't miss it. After all your vegetables has been cooked, take all your vegetables aside in the same uh, cooker. Now I'm cooking all my masalas. So for this, take one cup of tamarind juice. Make sure you don't make it into a too watery consistency. Uh, just keep it in a normal consistency and one cup of tamarind juice. Then three teaspoons of bisabelle bath powder. Then add the poppy seeds and the dried coconut coarse mixture that you had grinded. Then add rasam powder, 2 teaspoons, chili powder, 3 teaspoons, salt, 3 teaspoons. So cook your masala for some time till it becomes thick. This is what adds taste and then add your jaggery also. So the consistency of this mixture should be like this. So now add all of the vegetables that we had cooked before. So mix all the vegetables with the masala. Then add your dal. So mix the dal with the vegetables. And now I am adding the rice, cooked rice. Make sure you mix the rice really well. Then add 1 teaspoon of ghee, cook it for 5 minutes and then your bisabelle bath is ready to eat. Make sure you keep giving occasional stirs because it can get stuck at the bottom. 
If you like this recipe, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share and like it. Please do put your comments below.